So I just received these in the mail. I had uh, recently done a video where I put new Brian Setzer pickups in a Gretsch guitar. And it turns out that uh, that model guitar needs risers in order to bring the pickup high enough. And that's um, TV Jones' response. Um, this is something that's been available for a while. They've known that they've needed it, but I haven't seen anything on Facebook or on YouTube regarding the use of these. So I'm going to be throwing these in my Gretsch and seeing how much better those pickups sound with them close enough to the strings. Okay, so here's the guitar. I just wanted to show these pickups are pretty much as high as they go. You can still see how far they are from the strings. Uh, TV Jones recommends they be uh, about four millimeters from the string from the top of the chrome cover to the string. So got these pickup rings uh, that are uh, risers. You can kind of test fit. I've already seen that it fits. So the good thing is, yes, the, the size is right. The bad thing is, is I'm using the original rings that they did come with a kit for the pickup to be able to use the original rings. Um, but you can see I'm going to have to open up those slots just a little bit more to accommodate. I bought two sets of these so I could use, they're designed so you can use up to two or three on the pickup. But you can see how high three is going to rise it. I'm not going to need that much. I think I'm only going to need two risers uh, to get that pickup to where I need it. Um, I'll do some measuring and then I'll show you when I get done. All right, so I just used my Dremel and I just, I did three at a time just to enlarge those holes a little bit. Um, so they're all the same size, but this is all underneath so you don't notice it. And also that blue tape comes off so they're just clear. All right, as I'm working on this, I've got a couple notes. I'm using two on the back, one on the front. And you may need to cut your springs down a little bit um, to be able to get the pickups up high enough as well. So cutting off just one ring, just measuring it just above where it uh, doubles up will do you. All right, so this is with the guitar set up and the kit installed. I used two risers on the bridge pickup and one riser on the neck pickup. Thankfully, TV Jones packages uh, the kit with three risers. Um, I would not have been able to use three risers on the bridge pickup because the screws that a kit came with and the screws that came with the guitar weren't long enough uh, for that height, but it is long enough for two and it turned out to be perfect. I still have a little bit of room to raise the pickup height if I want to, but that's where the main um, TV Jones specs are. Um, and I'm going to mess with it from there. I did adjust the neck pickup so everything balances nice. So the only um, video I'd seen concerning using pickup risers on the Gretsch Electric Maddox was uh, a, one that's been out for around five years that was put out by TV Jones where he was doing a pickup installation. Um, so when I did this original uh, job, I did not realize that I needed them. And so in trying to get the pickups high enough, I just wasn't getting the output I wanted. Um, I've already played it a little bit and it's definitely louder and clearer and I think I'm gonna like it much better. So for those of you that are installing um, TV Jones pickups or even um, real Filtertrons in an Electromatic, you're most likely gonna want these risers. I was able to find these on Sweetwater uh, in 2023. They are $8.75 for a three pack, so they're not gonna break the bank. Um, they're clear and they line up well, so they, they look pretty good. Um, and so anyway, thing 5120-ish, um, or even anything else hollow body in that, that uh, realm will most likely need them to get the pickups high enough. Anyway, as you can see, just even just a few feet away, you don't even notice they're there. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions regarding that, um, thanks for watching.